What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Steven the Black. Testy E V double E the Black. I'm back. I just got finished watching the Eagles and Vikings NFC Championship game from a couple years ago. And, uh, man, the feels, bro, they were just coming back. And I was like, oh, man, that year, bro, things were just. It just went so right, you know, even though we had the injuries and even though, yeah, well, I really, that was it. And even though we lost, Carson Wentz, who was the MVP, and we were still clicking. The magic was still there. And Nick Foles and Doug Peterson and the coaches, they saved the season. And I remember down watching it downstairs, bro, just jumping up and down. And I'm just like, bro, I get to see my team in the Super Bowl, man. I'm like, we're going to the Super Bowl. I remember my brother came downstairs because he's a Packers fan. He, he dapped me up. He was like, bro, got to give it to you, bro. First, because, you know, he don't like, he don't, he don't like, he, like I said, he's a Packers fan, so he don't like the Vikings. But he was like, I got to give it up to you, bro. Y'all y'all look good, bro. Congratulations. And I was like, thanks, man. I was like, man, we're going to the Super Bowl. I was so excited, man. It was just like, I was like, I'm going to watch uh, uh, us lose to the Patriots in 2004 because that's all I had. You know, I was like, we're going to the Super Bowl, bro. But now, fast forward two years later, and the Eagles are heading back to the very site where they accomplished the greatest thing a team can in the NFL can accomplish, and that's winning the Super Bowl. And if I, me as a fan, am all up in the fields just by watching a video, I can imagine how the players and the coaches feel, you know, going back there like, man, remember last time we was here, bro? Remember what we did? Yo, yo, remember this spot right here, bro? This is where I stripped Tom Brady. Remember that? Bro, right here, bro. This is where uh, this is where I held the Lombardi trophy at. Remember that? Remember that? Bro, this is where the confetti was falling. Remember that? Remember that? Irks right here, like yo, this right here, this is where I, this is where I fell at when I caught the game with a touchdown pass. Remember that? Remember that? Doug Peterson, yo, this is where they dumped that Gatorade on me. Remember that? Remember that? So I, I just hope that you know Doug preached to them this week. Hey, I know we're going back to Minnesota, but look, this is a different time. This is not the Super Bowl. This is another game that we have to go in there and handle our business. That is what the good teams do. That is what the great teams do. That is what the Super Bowl winning head coaches do. You keep your team under control. You keep the feelings behind you. What happened in the past is the past. And you keep looking forward and you focus on the here and the now. And this has nothing to do with... With the Super Bowl. Forever grateful for Super Bowl 52. But that was two years ago. This is right now. I need you to focus on right now. And right now, we have to deal with the Minnesota Vikings. Who I'm sure are still up in their fields of, we could have played the Super Bowl in our own building, but didn't. The Eagles stole our dream from us, you know. <sighs> it's as I said in my last video. These next six games, we are going to find out who this Eagles team truly is. We're going to find out. We're going to find out how well they stack up against the creme de la creme of the NFC. We're going to find out how well they stack up against the top teams in the NFL. We've got a two-game win streak. One against Green Bay in Green Bay and one against the Jets. Again, uh, you heard me last week when I said, I said I thought that the offense didn't look great. I think they took their foot off the gas and they thought they could just cruise their way to this game. You know, and but, you know, like I said, also said the Jets, they do have a pretty good defense. And they, I don't know if it was more if they kept them in check or the Eagles just like, you know what, we don't need to do anything. Well, guess what? Now you need to do something now, okay? Because the Vikings, another top 10 defense, okay? And you need to go into Minnesota, you need to handle your business, and you need to get out. It's another game, another week, without Deshaun Jackson. Um, they're saying, I'm seeing reports that he might be back for the Dallas game. 
Um, I hope that is the case because this offense really, really misses him. It's like I said, this offense looks like the offense from last year. Everything just right in front of you. No shots down the field because, honestly, no one besides Nelson Aguilar can get downfield and he doesn't know how to track the ball. So even if, if we do throw it downfield, ain't no guarantee he going to catch it because, he, oh, I lost it in the lights. That's, remember, that's what he said in Atlanta. I lost it in the lights, but that's no excuse. Whatever. So, keys to victory. How do we win this game? What do we have to do? Well, from what we've, from what I've seen in these first five weeks of the NFL season, the Vikings they want to be a running team. They want to run the ball. And what does the Philadelphia Eagles do best? As a matter of fact, they are number one in this category, and that is the run defense. They stop the run. Vikings want to run the ball. We are going to stop the Vikings from running the ball. We are going to stop Dalvin Cook. We're going to put the ball in Kirk Cousins' hands. Now, this is where things get complicated because, again, you stop Dalvin Cook. That forces them to use Stephon Diggs and Thielen and Rudolph. That forces them to use them. And uh, we know about this secondary. We, we, we really do. But over the last couple of weeks, this defense has started to look better. Against Green Bay, they had two takeaways, and they had, and the all defensive line was getting pressure on Aaron Rodgers. Now he's Aaron Rodgers, so he makes things happen. And then obviously we know what happened last week, albeit I know it was against the Jets, but they did do it. So it, it, slowly but surely, the defense has been looking like it's been getting its swagger back. But now... Here comes the true test. Now, again, the Vikings offensive line, it's, it's better, but it's still not great. They should be able to take advantage of that. They should be able to get the Kirk Cousins. And if you can get the Kirk Cousins, you have a good opportunity to win the game. So stop the run, force them, and get the Kirk Cousins. Number three is you got to score early. Got to score early. Kirk Cousins or not. He's got some ballers on that team. He's got some ballers. And, oh, excuse me. He's got some ballers on that team. And they can hurt you. And the only way, everything I've seen and everything I've heard is if you get up early on the Vikings and you step on their throat, they cannot come back and hurt you. They cannot. Now, we heard everything about Thielen and Diggs wanting to get out, or Diggs wanting to get out, Thielen not being happy. Things in the Eagles secondary is some pretty good medicine, you know. <laughs> but uh, if you get up early, let's say you take a 10-0 lead, maybe a 14-0 lead, whatever it takes. If you get up early, you will be fine. If you are up by halftime, you will be fine. I would like to think that as I look at these three games on the road, all of them, there's a common theme in all of this. And that theme is great defense or top 10 defense, but questionable offense. Dallas out of the three have the best offense. Minnesota out of the three has the best weapons. So... There's that, but questionable nonetheless. <sighs> Try to think. Do I have a score? Um, uh, I don't have a score. I can't think of anything. Maybe somewhere along the lines of a 34-24 game. Something like that. Like, something like that. Maybe if the offense can flow and if the defense does its job. <sighs> Realistically, the Eagles can go 2-1 and one in this stretch. 
this would probably be the game they lose because I don't think even though Buffalo has that top 10 defense, their offense is not very good. But who knows? Sometimes there is a team that the Eagles just, for whatever reason, just lose to. So I don't know. But this is about Minnesota. Let's go in there. I've seen a lot of people say this is going to be the Carson Wentz game because, you know, he didn't play. Last time he were here in Minnesota, he didn't play in this building. He didn't play in the Super Bowl. It's going to bring all those feelings back and everything like that. He also needs to be kept in check because, like I said, he uh, he, he he wasn't he didn't play in this building when last time we were here. And last time we were here was the Super Bowl. And there are going to be some good memories for a lot of people. And there are going to be some bad memories for Wentz. And so I need him to stay calm. I need him to be accurate because he's been a little questionable in accuracy. And I, whatever it takes, man. Hey, as we know, continue to run the ball. Keep keep uh keep those weapons on the sideline. Keep feeling and digs on the sideline. Um, just just do your job, man. Just do it. Do what you've been doing over these past couple of weeks. Run the continue to run the ball. Defense continue to do good in offense. Just don't turn the ball over. Don't turn the ball over. If you don't do that, and if you do all those things, the Eagles can come out of here and they can win. Again, I'm going 34-24. Don't hold me to that, but that's just what I got right now. I got it off the top of my head. So with that being said, that's pretty much about it. Um, Let's keep this momentum train going. Let's go into Minnesota, get this dub, and uh, move on to the next one. So uh, if you're not done with that, I've just got three words for you. Fly, Eagles, fly. I will see you after the game Sunday. And if you're not done with that, I've just got two words for you. Or three words for you. I already said that. Whatever. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm tired. Um, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.